hello students in the last session we have started with the revision of chapter number 7 that is getting to know plants so what were the different topics that we have covered in our last session we have studied that the plants are divided into three categories what are the three categories in which we have divided the plants herbs shrubs and trees so what are herbs herbs are the plants that are short in size the stem of the herbs is green in color and tender we may or may not see branches in the herbs then we have studied about shrubs what are shrubs shrubs are the plants in which the stem is thick but it is not very hard and the branches is seen near the ground that is in the lower part of the stem and at the last we have studied about trees so what are trees the plants which grow tall the stem in the trees are hard as well as thick and the branching is seen in the upper part of the stem that is much above the ground then we have studied about creepers and climbers what are creepers the plants in which stem is weak due to weak stem they cannot stand upright due to this they creep on the ground then we have studied about climbers climbers take the support and grow in the upward direction then we have studied the various parts of the plant what are the different parts of the plant roots stem leaf flower fruits etc out of which we have started with the stem we have studied the function of the stem what is stem the part of the plant that grow above the ground the function of the stem is to conduct water and minerals from the roots to the different parts that are attached to the stem like leaf flowers fruits stem also helps to carry food that is prepared from the leaf to the different parts of the plant so in today's session we will revise about the leaf last session we have studied that the plants vary from one another all the plants are not same so the variations can be seen in the leaf also we have studied the leaf of the plant vary in size shape and color you can see in the images the different leaves of the different plants they vary from one another some of the plants have a tiny leaf while some of the plants have the big leaf even the shape of the leaf of the plants vary from each other in this slide you can see the images of the different plants that possesses the leaf of the different colors mostly we see the plants have the green color leaf but there are some plants that have the leaf of different colors then we have studied about the structure of the leaf what does the leaf consist of the leaf consist of petiole lamina veins and midrib now what do you mean by petiole what is petiole the part of the leaf that is attached to the stem is known as a petiole what is lamina the broad green portion of the leaf is known as lamina then we have also studied about midrib what do you mean by midrib the prominent line that you see in the middle of the leaf is known as midrib now what are veins on both the sides of the midrib we see the lines these lines are known as veins
and the design that is made on the leaf by the veins is known as the leaf venation now the venation is of the two type what are the two types of the venation that we observe in the leaf the two types of the venation are first is the reticulate venation and second is the parallel venation what do you mean by reticulate venation if the design made by the veins on the leaf is net like on both the sides of the midrib such type of the venation is called as the reticulate venation what are the examples of the reticulate venation we observe reticulate venation in the leaf like rose tulsi papaya hibiscus etc second is parallel venation so what do you mean by parallel venation if the veins are parallel to each other such type of venation is known as parallel venation we observe parallel venation in the leaf of the plants like banana coconut rice wheat and even in grasses after that we have studied the functions of the leaf what are the two important functions of the leaf the two important functions of the leaf are the transpiration and the photosynthesis process what do you mean by transpiration transpiration is the process in which the extra water comes out of the leaf through the small openings that are present in the leaf these small openings are known as stomata then photosynthesis what is photosynthesis the leaf prepare their food in the presence of sunlight and carbon dioxide this process is known as photosynthesis process to understand this process we have studied the different activities let's have a look on those activities in this activity we will study about the transpiration process that is carried out by the leaf so let's see what do we require to perform this activity for performing this activity we will require a herb plant two transparent polyethylene bags and a thread so when is this activity carried out this activity is carried out during the day time on a sunny day for this use a healthy well watered plant that has been growing in the sun we have to use enclose the leafy branch of the plant in the polythene and tie up its mouth and keep it in the sun so what we have to do we have to enclose the leafy branch of a plant with a polythene bag and tie it up and keep that plant in the sun after few hours observe the inner surface of the car cover what do you see are there any droplets of the water so you have to keep that plant in the sun after few hours what you will observe inside the surface of the cover you will observe the fine droplets of the water now from where does this water comes water comes out of the leaf in the form of vapor by a process called as a transpiration so that water which we observe in the polythene bags come out from the leaf in the form of water vapor and this process is called as the transpiration so transpiration is the process in which the extra water comes out of the leaf from the tiny openings known as the stomata plant releases a lot of water in the air through the transpiration process so lot of water is released by the plant during the transpiration process now we will study the another activity in this activity we will study that the food that is prepared by the leaf is stored in the form of starch let's see the requirement to carry out this activity 
we will require a leaf spirit a beaker test tube burner water a watch glass and iodine solution now let's see how is this activity carried out to perform this activity take a leaf in a test tube and pour the spirit to completely immerse the leaf what we have to do we have to take a test tube that is filled with the spirit to this we have to immerse the leaf now place the test tube in a beaker half filled with water now the test tube that contains the spirit and leaf we have to put it in the beaker that is half filled with water heat the beaker till all the green color from the leaf comes out into the spirit in the test tube now we have to heat the beaker till all the green color from the leaf comes out into the spirit solution that we have added in the test tube after that take out the leaf carefully and wash it with in water now as the green color from the leaf comes out we have to take out the leaf carefully from the test tube and wash that leaf in the water now place it on a watch glass and pour some iodine solution over it what will happen if you add the iodine solution the color will change to blue black color what does the blue black color indicates the blue black color indicates that it contains starch so the food that is prepared by the leaf is stored in the form of starch raw potatoes show the presence of starch so the potatoes get the starch from their leaf and store it leaves prepare their food in the presence of sunlight and the green colored substance present in them so leaf prepare their food in the presence of sunlight and the green color pigment that is known as chlorophyll they also use water and carbon dioxide to prepare their food so leaf use water and carbon dioxide to prepare their food oxygen is given out in the photosynthesis process the food is prepared by the leaf ultimately gets stored in the different parts of the plant so the leaf prepare their food and it is stored in the different parts of the plant the stem supplies leaf with the water we have studied that the stem conducts water in the upward direction so the water that is required to prepare the food is supplied by the stem to the leaf in today's session we have revised about the leaf the structure of the leaf and the different functions that are performed by the leaf i hope you have understood this so based on this you have to perform an activity what you have to do is you have to take the leaf of the different plants that are present in your home or in your surrounding you have to trace those leaf by tracing under the paper and observe the venation that is shown by the leaf and also you have to label the different parts of the leaf so we will end our session here in our next session we will revise about the roots and the flowers